joy yeah. in this family. It's going to really bring everything together for you. <laughs> he looks sort of like a, a truck. So he could be a force to be reckoned with in his day. But uh, I, I feel like a little Irishman. Yeah. Uh, the Lord gave me a scripture uh, for Isaac, really, and for really this generation. It's, uh, it's out of 1 Corinthians 16. Uh, and this is what I believe the Lord wants to do is raise up a generation of young people, children, that will literally do this. It said, uh, Paul was saying uh, in verse 13, 1 Corinthians 16, watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Yeah. Isn't that powerful? Yes. Yes. Watch, stand fast in the faith, be, be brave and be strong. You know, I believe the Lord's going to raise up a, a generation of people that's going to do that. Yeah. And then this is the, the, the capstone to that. Let all that you do be done with love. Yeah. Isn't that powerful? Mm -hmm. It goes yes. from being uh, standing in faith and being brave and being strong to what you do, do it in love. Yeah. And I believe the Lord's going to, in the last days, we're going to see a, 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 a people that are going to do what they do. It's going to really be done in love. It's going to be powerful. It's going to change the, the face of the church. Yeah. And I believe these uh, young people, these kids here will grow up to be that, to be that new face. And so we really want to bless uh, this child. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, as the family has already given the child to the Lord, we want to just stand with them and, you know, affirm that today, that he belongs to the Lord all the days of his life and would be like, literally be like Isaac in the Scripture, yes. who would hear the voice of the Lord yes. and hear the promises of the Father that had been given to this, this family, and he would actually carry them on and pass them down himself. Amen? Yeah. So, why don't, you know, anyone who wants to come and, and join us and lay on of hands around him, around the family, pray, Father, that uh, provision wouldn't be an issue for this family. Uh, that wouldn't really be an issue, Lord. The issue would be focusing on Christ. Witness, because that's what you call this family to do. Call this family to be incense in the earth, to be intercession in the earth, to stand in the gap, to, to cry out to the Father of light, to see the light released into the earth, Lord. So, Lord, today we want to dedicate Isaac to you, Lord. We stand before you and present Isaac before, before heaven and declare before all of heaven, Lord, like David said in Psalm 23, he prepares a table before for me in the presence of my enemies, Lord. And the enemy can't do anything about it. So today we're declaring the enemy cannot do anything about what's happening right now with this child. He is being given to Christ. And any man that's in Christ is a new creation. And any man that's in Christ is enveloped in love and is enveloped in harmony and protection and joy and peace and righteousness. We declare that over Isaac right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for babies. We thank you that heaven loves babies, Lord, and gives them freely to us, Lord. And we just today, Lord, we just lay hands on this little man. And we just bless him, Lord. We give him all the Abraham blessings. Uh, would you do that? Well, Lord, we just pray an, an, an Abraham blessing on his son's namesake, Isaac. <laughs> And we just pray for the peace, the peace, the prosperity, the joy, the fulfillment, and the destiny on this child. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Lord. So as the body of Christ, we just bless him in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let the uh, Spirit of adoption of the Father be upon his life every day. Amen. Amen. So on that note, any kids can be dismissed.